This video is going to cover everything you need to know about export destinations. To access the previous exam that you have saved, open the menu and then tap Saved Exams. You will find that Lumify is extremely flexible when it comes to exporting your exams. Lumify was designed to work with your institution and doesn't require any additional fees or proprietary plugins in order for you to export your exams to your hospital storage infrastructure. If you just want to export one of these exams, you can simply tap an exam to select it and then tap the export icon. A menu will pop up with a list of export destinations you've already set up, or it'll give you the option to add a new export destination. In this case, nothing is set up, so let's add a new destination. First, go ahead and give your new destination a nickname or title and determine what type of destination you're sending this exam to. Is this a DICOM destination, a network share destination, or a local directory or media destination? Let's take a look at each of these one by one. First, let's look at the DICOM. Let's give it the nickname DICOM. Select the DICOM option and then tap Continue. This menu is where you will plug in all of the information that you're going to need to set up your DICOM destination. You may need to work with your IT department or network admin to get the information you need to fill in the first few lines. In the Export Format section, you have the option to choose between RLE format or JPEG format for your images. If you check the Show Advanced Option box, you will have several other options available to you. You can adjust the brightness and contrast of your ultrasound images to account for the display you'll be exporting to. You can choose to include or exclude patient data on each image, to include or exclude your institution name in each image. And then you have Advanced Connection Settings to further customize your export settings to fit within your IT department. If you'd like to stop at any point, just hit Cancel. Otherwise, before moving forward, you can test to ensure everything is working as it should. If everything looks good, then go ahead and tap Save. What you'll see now is the Export Destinations menu. This will be where all of your export destinations that you set up will be located. You'll identify them based on their names as well as the icon and the information underneath the title or nickname of your destination. So a descriptive name will be important if you have multiple export destinations. So, let's add some more export destinations. We're going to name this one Network for Network Share. We'll choose the Network Share option and then tap Continue. Here, you'll type in your host name, user password, and remote directory. Again, you may need to work with IT or your network admin to fill this out correctly. Then specify the format for the directory name. You will see an example export path below. Next, choose your preferred file format. You can choose to export these in PC format. In this case, the images will come out as .png files and the videos will come out as .mp4 files. If you choose DICOM, you will then have the option to have the images saved in JPEG or RLE format. And you'll also have the option to fill in the Lumify AE title as well. So, let's say we're exporting these in PC format. If you check the box for Show Advanced Options, you can Set the image resolution. You can adjust the brightness and contrast of your ultrasound images to account for the display you'll be exporting to. You have the option to include or exclude patient data on each image, to include or exclude your institution name in each image. And then you have advanced connection settings as well. You have the same options at the bottom to cancel, test, or save. And the last export destination type is local directory or media. We're going to name it local. Tap the circle for local directory or media, and then tap continue. In this case, you can change the directory, rename it, or you can tap the folder icon and look within the folder structure on your device to choose the export destination. When you find the right folder, go ahead and tap Select. You can edit your choice anytime by tapping the pencil icon. You can see the option to offer a prompt each time you export to this location. This may be helpful if you want to save exams to different folders from time to time and don't want to set up multiple local export destinations. Next, specify the format for the directory name. You will see an example export path below. Choose the file type for this export destination. And then, by checking the Advanced Options box, you have the option, again, to adjust the image resolution, adjust the display composition, and choose whether or not you want to include patient data and or institution on each image. You can now see that we have one of each export destination here. Each of the icons are different and by tapping on any one of them, you can see a summary of how they were set up in that window. You can also edit or adjust these settings as you see fit. 
If you want to access this view, where you can see all of your export destinations, simply tap the menu. Scroll down until you see the Export Destinations menu item. If you tap on that, you'll see a summary of all of your export destinations. From here, you can add a new destination, edit an existing destination settings by tapping on it, or long press on a destination to access further options, such as renaming a destination, deleting a destination, or copying a destination. To multi-select destinations, long press on one, then tap the others you'd like to select, or tap the Select All icon. To deselect, tap again on a selected destination or tap the check mark icon in the top left of the control bar. Now you know everything you need to know about setting up export destinations on your Lumify Ultrasound system.